What's going on guys? It's me Kenny. I've been renting out my van on hire car and I have American Business Insurance period X. So I just got it back from renting out. So I gotta put this guy in it. And what this basically is is just a locator chip. Um looks like this. And I'm just gonna install it real quick so in case it gets stolen they can find it and so they can also track the mileage. So yeah, be right back, I'll show you where we are. Alright, so this is my Honda Odyssey that I rent out on hire car. Um I got it back and um I'll probably give it a little car wash real quick. But um I gotta install this guy and yeah, that's about it. Looks like it's in the same quality I gave it to him in, except for you know, a little dirty just from you know being in the city. But that's fine. Alright, so I want to refill the windshield wiper fluid. It did not need that because he didn't use any at all, I guess. Yeah, he left his little tree in here. And you know, I found where the OBD port goes, so that's right here. A little bit hard to find at first, but that's where it goes. Um, he left a couple of napkins in here, but the same guy's gonna rent it out. So I'm not too worried about that. This is from the oil change that my uh, my friend, because I had I paid my friend to get the oil change done for me. And he probably left that in there. That's fine. I'll leave that there. And um, yeah, I'll make another video in a little bit. I'm gonna do a little car wash real quick. It's already pretty shiny, but you know it could be better. It's got some bird poo on the top, and the tires are you know not very shiny. I'm gonna see if I got some tire spray real quick. But yeah, I'm gonna wash. All right. Got the tire wet on it, you can't really see because it it's dark out. Switched out the air filters, and yeah, I'm gonna go drop it back off so the guy can rent it out. Let's do it. Alright, so I just wanted to do one last part of this video, I just has a recap. So, in case you guys don't know what Hire Car is, H Y R E C A R, I'll have a link in the description. They're basically a service, um, very similar to Turo, except they're in all 50 states, and Turo is not in New York, and I live in New York. So hire car was really my only option. I couldn't choose between hire car and Toro. But something interesting about hire car is their their niche is you know uh, ride share drivers like Uber and Lyft drivers and people who drive for Postmates and any kind of those kind of you know people who get paid for their driving. They, they offer that kind of insurance and they take about the same amount of commission as Toro. So it's really not that bad of a deal. And hire car drivers typically take the car out for longer periods of time than Turo instead of just one or two days at a time. So in short, um, you know, I started renting out my van because my van's what I've been driving for the last year and a half. I have one of the newer cars on the market because I have it's a twenty eighteen van and most of the cars out there are pretty old. And yeah, I don't want to make this video too long because I'll talk more about it in another video. But just in short, um and I'm new to this too, it's still my first month. But the reason I had to start renting out my van is because I owned it for a year. I already ate all the depreciation. I could have sold it, but if I sold it, I would have probably lost money. And um, I wanted to buy a Tesla. So I bought a Tesla Model 3, and essentially I'm financing it with the money I'm making, or I'm offsetting the cost of ownership with um, the money I'm making from hire car. So, and again, this is just the first month. Um, we're going to have to do it for a couple months to see how consistent this could be. But my goal is, you know, for that to pay off my van completely and for me to have an extra couple hundred bucks profit from that to, um, you know, go towards the maintenance of the van and towards me paying off my Tesla. My Tesla costs a lot more than my van, but I am not giving this thing up now. So anyway, um, I'll make more videos about hire car in the future. I have all, like, all these charts and stuff to track my profits and everything. In summary, what I did in this video is I, you know, took back the car. We got an oil change done, which needed to get done. I, uh, air filter and the cab, the cab, engine air filter and cabin air filter. I changed both of those myself. Saved a lot of money there, and it was extremely easy. I'm gonna make a video about that because I couldn't find any videos from for a 2019 Honda Odyssey. Even though, well, actually, I think I did find one, which is how I did it. But I'm gonna make a video on how to do that for both next time I need it changed. Probably not for a long time though. And, yeah, then I, so I, the main reason I wanted to make the video was to show where to put that little chip. Because it took me a while to find it, and once I found it, I'm like, okay, this is where everyone else should know to put it. And that chip, it both tracks the mileage and the location of the vehicle. Because I, with the insurance I have, I can only drive 150 miles a month myself. But it's very cheap insurance, and, you know, that's all I'm really going to be driving anyway. Because it's hopefully going to be rented out as much as seemingly possible. 
And yeah, American Business Insurance is partnered with Hire Car, so they know when it's in my ownership and they know when it's rented out. So yeah, it's a really great system and it saves me money on insurance. So yep, that's all I got guys. Uh, any questions, leave them in the comment section. Uh, if you want more videos like this, let me know. Any specific videos you want, let me know. I definitely am going to make more videos about, about Hire Car though and my progress. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate your support.